Now man, according to the Christian theology, was made a little above the angels. In Islam, we are also a little above the angels. So if God, the originator, sends his messages to angels who are also described as messengers, we have also been anointed through the example of our spiritual guides who have come before us to be anointed not to see us as simply, listen carefully, followers of the Christ or followers of the Messiah or followers of Moses or the Torah, the Gospels and the Holy Quran. But we have been anointed too to become saviors of our people. And we cannot speak the word without putting it into practice. So let us recite those opening verses, or one at least for the moment, because this chapter contains some secret wisdom that hopefully will unlock for each and one of you today to really understand that you are the chosen people of God. Go ahead, Mom. Go ahead. And that we had to go through the burning. We had to go through purgatory. We had to be drawn in the depths of hell. Go ahead. Yes, Go ahead. Yes, A people who cannot be defeated That's right. through 400 plus years yes. of slavery. Yes. That there is something inside of the black man in particular yes. that no other people could have endured. Go ahead. Go ahead. So we are the mothers and the fathers, yes, of civilizations. We are the mothers and the fathers of worlds within worlds within worlds. And we had to take a back seat in order to see what was inside of us in the form of our imperfection. Okay. Because, brothers and sisters, in the beginning, the originator had to make himself up out of nothing. He didn't himself know what that nothing was. But there was a vibratory pitch. Hmm? The Honorable Elijah Muhammad said, a force working in the dark that kept pulling up objects into view. And as the power or the force vibratory frequency began to move upon the waters from the book of Genesis, the spirit of God moved upon the waters and there was no form, they say, in the beginning. There was no form of the divine creator. But through the frequency of mind and thought, oh, yes. he generated from a single cell of thought, yes. the Honorable Elijah Muhammad said, everything that was necessary to produce first himself and then a divine creation that we call our solar system and galaxies after galaxy after galaxies was in his mind. So the Honorable Elijah Muhammad did not give us magical, how do you say, fairy tale teachings. He told us that the scientists who were born in the circle of gods, that all they had to do was to think, to will something into existence. So stars, planets are not spooky. Do you see them? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Do we, are we learning something about the star systems every day? Yes, ma'am. How they are connected even to our auditory mind? Yes, that if you concentrate long enough that you also can affect weather? We can make rain, hail, snow, 
earthquake. Yes, yes. We have been experimenting on this planet. That is why it is the home planet of the God. Yes. Because we experiment to perfect our creation. Yes. So sometimes we may be, I don't want to use the word uh, guinea pigs, but we had to operate on ourselves. I want to put a stop to people thinking that we are teaching mythology. I want to put a stop to people thinking that we are teaching racism. I pray Allah that when you leave this room today that you will understand every word that I speak from the spirit and power of our God, from the spirit and teachings of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad is pure science. Okay. So he said, sitting in the circle of the creation of our universe, that those who were assigned to helping him create worlds upon worlds, because you read only especially in the Holy Quran, the little word we, That's right. working about with this. the God. Yes. Talk about yes. this. In the Bible, maybe you can understand it in Genesis, let us. Uh -huh. <laughs> so there's some plurality to the singularity yes. of our identification of God. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. And to understand that, imagine that you're sitting with God uh -huh. right now. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. And he's directing us, willing us to pull out of us our creativity. So we are creators too. But we cannot be creators without tracing our origin to the originator. That keeps us humble, brothers and sisters. Because if we go around saying, I'm the God, you know, I'm the originator, then you're headed huh, for destruction. Yes, right. Not by an outside force, going back to that force, an inside force. Yes, the force that brought you here is the same force that was in the beginning, yes, pulling up things and objects into view. There was a push, there was a force from your mother's womb that ultimately made the invisible visible. So if you trace your birth through nine months, you come out of your mother's womb. You cannot void it, male or female. They have not constructed the male yet, though they're probably trying <laughs> with a womb <laughs> to produce a child. So just imagine when God was making himself up into darkness, that darkness the Honorable Elijah Muhammad identified as a womb. How about that? Yeah. So we just can't get away from the feminine. You can't throw the woman out. You can't disrespect the woman. You can't abuse the woman. You cannot use the woman and her child for your emotional, sexual passion. Without running into the God, okay? Because as you treat the woman, you are disrespecting God. The woman, the Honorable Elijah Muhammad said, was made the second self of God. She was made the twin of God. Yes. She is the recorder of everything that took place in the darkness of space. That is why the woman has that instinctive nature about her. And she knows both the male and the female because she must give birth to both the male and the female. And she has to nurture them into what? Perfection. Stage by stage, is that right? Now I'm going to reveal a secret to most of you who are visitors for the first time or second time um, that most uh, theologians don't teach this. 
The trouble that we are having in relationships on this planet has to do with trouble that was in the germ of life in the very beginning. The Honorable Elijah Muhammad said, you look at the planets, look at every object that has come out of the first creation. It is not a perfect zero. It is not perfectly round. He says it's an ellipse. So everything that circles, circles in our galaxy, in our Milky Way galaxy of stars, in an elliptical movement. It is not perfect. And the Honorable Elijah Muhammad said it's going to have to take someone to come along <laughs> to perfect that circle. So at random, we say 360 degrees make a circle. OK, now, if the circle is not perfected, then we perhaps have not reached the 360 degrees, but we're working on it, right? <laughs> he said, the shape of our heads and our faces is not perfectly round. If you look at the moon, the moon is a sphere, mm -hmm, satellite of our Earth. And we can never, when we say full moon, it's not really fully round because there's a part of the moon that we never see, which is called the dark side. The dark side of the moon. So everything, brothers and sisters, I want you to take me to task on it. That we can prove every single word that we represent to you from the teachings of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad, and we are reciting as students the assignment that we were given. And each one of you, when you step in the door of the mosque or the temple or the study guide, wherever you go, you have been chosen as part mm, of the work of a scientist. And you have training courses in the Nation of Islam, women and men to bring out Go ahead. that God Go ahead. that is hidden Go ahead. in you. Yes. And perhaps one of you in Delaware or in Camden, New Jersey or Philadelphia or Washington, D.C. or back on the West Coast has produced a child, a new generation from you that will be able to master the perfection of the zero. The Honorable Elijah Muhammad said that one day down the time of uh, the line of time that we will produce scientists who will be able, are you ready for this? Yes. To make a new sun, yes. S-U-N, yes. and make a whole new galaxy outside of the galaxy of the Milky Way galaxy of stars. You never read in any of the magazines and the newspapers when they're reporting on Elijah Muhammad and the Nation of Islam or those black Muslims or Brother uh, Farrakhan. Uh, always, what do they print? Negativity. You know why? That's their nature. They cannot help it. They were born on the bad side. We have to say. <laughs> They're like the dark side of the moon that wants to keep hiding its backside. <laughs> Never coming out with the truth. He does not have it in him because his father, who came up with this idea, all right, of producing that which was giving us trouble Go ahead, Go ahead. cannot teach the truth. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yes. They mix the truth Go with falsehood, right. lies, yes. deception, yes. so that when you see it, you say, hmm, that sounds like it's right. <laughs> but it really is from a vibratory low uh, expression. Yes. And trick, that's right, trick, some people here, come on up here and teach, brother. 